Hey, what is up guys? My name- Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's set this thing aside and how about let's focus ourselves on this one, which is a small microphone, $2 microphone to be exact. And what if I tell you that we can make it sound like a broadcasting microphone? Something like this. All right, stay in this video and I'll walk you through on how I made it sound like that. All right, so my name is Alan Avila and um, yeah, you have heard at the start of this video that we are going to make this microphone sound greater than how it sounds right now. Keep in mind, this is only a $2 slash 100 Philippine Peso microphone. It's very cheap and it is usable. Uh, but yeah, we're going to make it more usable in a way uh, by making it sound better. So we're just going to hop into my desktop now and I'll explain exactly what we're going to be doing in this microphone to make it sound greater than how it is. The first software that you would or program that you would need is called Equalizer APO. It basically is is allowing you to install VSTs directly into the microphone um, without really having a software open in the background if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, just download this, install it, and a configurator will appear. Uh, before we go on that, I'm going to show you the other programs that we would need. So Reaper plugins, uh, these are the VSTs that we're going to need. They are all free, that's why I'm choosing it. And you can just click here, download replugs, and it's it's a zip file and you have all the replugs and then you just click install on the exe file and then and lastly we need the iron noise i already made a video about this thing this is a noise suppression software that actually can go up against the crisp and nvidia broadcast that is of course made by nvidia so um yeah i'll have the link on how you can install this on the description down below now you're all set and good you have your equalizer apo installed you're going to be popping up with this files now, as you can see, um, I'm on start menu, programs, equalizer, APO. I'll just put this uh, path on the description down below. But also you can check your start menu wherein you can see these exact programs. While you're installing equalizer, APO, again, this would pop up. And what I want you to do is go to capture device and find the microphone that, you know, we're going to be editing. In my case, this is the microphone. By the way, this whole enhancement microphone sound, whatever, can be applied to every single microphone that you have. And um, I'll be making a video on how you can make this podcast mic sound way better and also the bm800 but i'm gonna find this microphone right here so I'm, what i'm gonna do first to find out i'm gonna go and right click on here click on recording devices and i can go here and double click the mic career pink i'm gonna listen to it if i hear myself that means it is this microphone and it is it is that microphone so um yeah that's kind of an easy way to find it out and as you can see here i'm just gonna select it where is it again i keep losing it there you go, I'm gonna just press the checkbox right beside it. Also go to troubleshooting and install SFX slash EFX. And then press OK. Now it'll require your windows to of course shut down and then restart and do its own thing. You just do that and I'm gonna do it as well because this is my first time actually editing this microphone right here. So you're gonna see all the raw of, you know, how I would approach this microphone to make it sound uh, great. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go press yes and then restart this whole thing. It's gonna be like two seconds for you. All right, so now the PC is done. You you know we're starting up for us and before we do all the configuration editing on the configuration editor i'm gonna show you some stuff so first if you want to monitor your headphones or yourself through your headphones or whatever earphones uh, that you have you can go into your windows sound mix and then go to sound go to recording tab and you can go into mic or whatever microphone you're dealing with and you can just double click it and click listen and then listen to this device now, now you're, you're gonna, gonna hear yourself, yourself but i think this has a higher latency than obs you know go into your obs which i'm at right now this is screen inception but you just want to right click into any of these tabs right here on the audio mixer tab and click on advanced audio properties and then click here on the microphone that you know you're dealing with and just click monitor only and you know mute output for now i'm gonna just turn it off for uh for a quick moment because it's hard recording a video while hearing yourself with a little bit of latency and the last advice i can give you for monitoring is use a program called audacity right here and you can just select your microphone uh, i'll link this uh, software down on the description down below and um you can just you know open that download that it's an e exe file for installing this can pop up uh you can also use this for recording which is how we are going to monitor using the software by just clicking the red tab right here or red dot and you can just keep on talking and then after that press space bar or the stop and then tab right here again red dot and you can just keep on talking and then, and then it'll record your voice and you can hear it great now after doing that what we can do is actually start doing the stuff in the microphone uh, so here it's called configuration editor it'll also pop up in your start menu start menu is this when you press your start menu on your keyboard uh, but i'll open it using this one anyway uh, configuration editor now there will be some stuff in here already because you know my pod mic i'm using this software with a pod mic to make it sound great um yeah just want to press no on this one this will always pop up until it 
sees that all of your microphone headphones is installed or the APO is installed on all of those. But yeah, you just want to press no. You got it installed in this, then it should just, you know, just work for now. You're going to pop up in this window right here. It's called config.txt. If you don't have that, what you can do is click on this open thing right here and I'll show you, you know, the default tab of where everything is now. What you want to do is just create new text document called a config.txt if you don't have one. Uh, but yeah, that, that's going to be that. Now, this would be blank or if it's not blank, what I suggest is actually click remove and all, all the things that you see in here. Now, I'm not going to remove the Scenix 802 because that's the microphone that I am usually using. So what I'm going to do now is click add filter and then click control and click device. If you're only editing this microphone, then it'll be, you know, the number one for you. Now, I want you to click change and check the select all device and now click the microphone that I want to edit. In my case, the mic press that, press OK. Equalizer APO is now scanning this microphone right here. Now, I just want to click plus again, click controls, click include. Now, you don't have a file. You're like, Alan, what's the file that I'm going to use with, you know, this microphone right here? Well, what I want you to do is press this plus right here, or at least it's like a shiny star, whatever thing. Anyway, click new and then save it. Let's call it small mic. Let's just call it that. Any names, so it wouldn't matter. And now, this is where we actually, you know, do our do our things. First is, remember I told you guys to install the replugs and the RN noise, right? Again, how to install RN noise will be on the description down there. But yeah, you just want to press plus and then you can do plugins and then VS. Now, this is the time we're in. I would probably kind of go back and forth on Audacity and this program right here and my, you know, my live monitoring on OBS. So you're going to see how I'm going to probably, I don't know, take, take a few minutes to make this mic sound just a little greater. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just probably turn it on and you know, I can do mic test, mic test, one, two, three. By the way, let's, let me just go back to the recording devices real quick on Windows from the sound mixer. As you can see right here, it says mic rear pink, right? This is the microphone. Um, I just want to show you that it is on a hundred level plus 10 dB microphone boost. I can do 20. It makes it sounds greater, but it also does clip because it's a very small capsule in here. So uh, I'm gonna just press OK on that. All right. Now I just want to test this first if it works. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. After you do the small mic.txt thingy, you want to go back to config.txt. And if you have the tab closed, you can just open it anytime by pressing this uh, little button right here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, config.txt, click on like the folder thingy, like small mic. And now I just want to hear if it works. Now, this would be a pretty simple one. I just click basic filters, preamplification, and this might clip, but I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to just lower it down real quick. Now, if you can't hear me or barely hear me, then you know and it's now really loud super loud and i'm gonna just put it back to normal and it works i can hear that by monitoring myself again and you know you can use this method as well so anyway i'm gonna just go and stick to you know removing that for now and what i'm gonna do is actually go back and forth back and forth in my monitoring and i'm gonna just do whatever i want to do into this microphone so first i'm gonna do plugins plugins vsc plugins open the folder and as you can see i'm on program files vsc plugins replugs and as you can see i have a lot of that dlls in this one but you're only going to worry about the re you know re dot DLL, you know, the re-comp, re-gauge, re-fear, re-eq, whatever, just the re one because that's the only, you know, VSC that I've asked you to install. But if you do, you know, if you know a lot about audio and you know the specifics of your microphone, you want to use your, uh, you know, your downloaded or own VSTs that you have, you can do those as well. But I'm going to just stick with the re, just, you know, make it general. Everyone can hang on to the train of what I'm going to do with this microphone. Anyway, I'm going to just go and add a re-eq. This is an equalizer. And now I just want to click open panel. And of course, I want to hear myself here. And yeah, I'm turning this on and off from time to time. You guys can't hear the echo because I removed that probably in post editing. Uh, but yeah, I just have this right here. You know what? I'll have it right here. Anyway, um, I'm going to re EQ right now. And what I'm going to do is make sure that everything is a band. Let's do band for everything just for now. All right, just for now. So you can go and get the software called spectralisomy spectralisomy uh, by uh, virtual cable whatever i forgot the company i'll link that down in the description below i'll have a video on how you can use that um you know if you want to make it more professional you know if you don't want to use your ears to just uh you know kind of mess around with the with the bands here uh, but yeah you can use that you can make it flat and then you kind of increase what you want to increase but i'm gonna just do whatever i want for now if i would really use this in a daily use i'll probably focus more and give it more time you know tinkering around with the settings uh but uh i'm gonna just do what i want to do for this video by the way uh you know i'm increasing this up and down but you guys aren't hearing any difference right so what i want you to do is press on apply automatically now if i put this on top as you can see 
my voice, you know, it changed. As you can see, if I put this all up, it sounds all different. Anyway, but you know what? I can do a high pass. High pass removes all the bass. I'm just, it barely has any bass, but I don't want those rumbling bass sound that, I don't know, maybe the shirt could produce or the table hit could produce. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of a high pass here. And by the way, I am not an audio engineer or an audio nerd. I just kinda have been doing a lot of editing on the audios, so I kinda know what I want to hear in a way. It might sound good for you, it might sound bad for you, uh, but it's like kinda the way how I want it to sound, or at least what I can hear with this headphones right here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna add like do seven bands for some reason. We can delete those anyways uh, if we don't need them. But I'll just add that for now. Now I need the bass in my voice. This microphone barely has any bass. So what I'm gonna do is add this, maybe lower this down a little bit, add a little bit of a mid boost, probably add more bands. I don't know, I'm, I love my bands here, I guess. Anyway, mic test, mic test, mic testing. You know, just, that's what you're gonna hear for the rest of this video probably. Uh, increase this a little bit. Let me, um, let me have my presence here. The thing is, if you increase the high, can you hear that tone? That's, uh, that's because that, or at least this microphone is causing it. So what I'm gonna do is add a high shelf instead and kind of subtly, it does that. Oh, that's the noise. Oh no, that's the noise. All right, give me a moment here. I'm just, you know, fiddle around a little bit more uh, to how I want it to sound. All right, so now, um, yeah, this is how it sounds right before, and now this is how it sounds like. Mic test one, two, and three. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the difference, but this would be a lot better if you guys were wearing any headphones. But that is the EQ, and this is how it looks like on the re-EQ end. Now you can search a lot of tutorial videos on how you can properly EQ your uh, microphone, but this is just kind of using my ears or how I want the microphone to sound. So basically, it looks like a little advanced here, but it's actually not. Anyway, I added a roll-off here, a bass roll-off, or what we can call a high pass, which removes the rumble on the sounds, maybe the table sounds here. I don't know if you guys can actually hear that, uh, but I added the bass around my voice range where I want the, the bass to actually pop up. Now I removed a little bit of the muddiness around this uh, level here uh, between 300 to 500 and then I kind of increased it a tad bit, increased the uh, the presence around gear on the 7 and 6 and then the high sibilance, high noise, whatever. I just kind of slowly rolled that off by the end there. Anyway, that's just that. It's simple enough to understand. You increase the, the mid tones, the high tones or the bass and you kind of just fill around with that and this is how I can kind of wanted my voice to sound with this microphone or at least the best I can get it to for the meantime with just a quick EQs and whatever uh, but yeah next up we're gonna do is compressor now the compressor with this with this thing right here is a little weird it kind of sounds like yes the compressor is working but it, sometimes it doesn't sound like it but anyway I'm gonna add it anyway because on OBS you can do all these filters and you're probably now like Alan but if you can do this on OBS why didn't you just do it in OBS why did you have us installed equalizer APO and Audacity? and all this other software as well. Uh, this would work with anything. You can use this on Discord, you know, other softwares. You're not locked into OBS. You're allowed to use all this and it's a simple setup. You do it once, you save the text files and it, it just works. Anyway, let's go to Recomp here uh, for the compressor. So um, Recomp, that DLL, open this. So now again, you can do auto makeup or whatever, apply automatically, make sure that is checked. Anyway, I'm not gonna do too much in this one. Anyway, this is uh, the AAM, just increase it to like 4X, make it more accurate and the pre-comp here, we don't do much. Now, as you can see, it does work in a way that um, if I put the wet down real quick, it lowers the whole thing. If I put it high, it flips, of course, and I'm sorry for that headphone warning there. Place that out in it. Double clean, by the way, resets it. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a ratio of, I don't know, five to one. I just want everything to be smooth like a radio whatever that's kind of what i'm going for now to explain a few things here the attack and release you can just auto release it um but i what i suggest is do a release of like um maybe 130 for me uh this is my settings i guess and the attack you want it to be zero you want it to be instant like it attacks that's it um yeah and we can also add a high pass in here but i've already eked the whole thing so we kind of don't have to now right so i'm um, just press apply in this one and let's just set it and forget for now. Now, what more can we add? I don't know if you actually need this one, but I'll add it anyway uh, for this microphone setup right here. I'm just doing a VST plugin right here again from Re again. And we do Re.js, I think. And then we go to open panel, click load, 
and go to Stillwell and then go and get yourself an expander. This will just expand your voice uh, in a way. Yeah, does that make sense? It, it kind of just spreads your voice a little bit more, make it more, I don't know, people can hear it more, I guess. Uh, what you can do here is do a release real quick, a very slow release time. I want the gain to be, yeah, uh, that's too loud. That's too loud. Let's just do five for this one. The ratio I want it to be, again, five. Uh, threshold, I want it to be a negative 75. And I'm gonna just apply that. So peak gain, six, seven. Uh, we're clipping really bad. But I think what we can do now is just do a preamp here, basic preamp. And what we can do is we can lower it down until we don't clip. So an OBS, so give me a moment here. What you can do is, as you can see, it does have the tab right here, right? Uh, wherein you can see where your voice are picking at. So as you can see, this is the pod mic I have. It's quite far from me, but uh, usually it goes into the uh, the uh, reds and um, just a little bit on the red. And that's how I want this mic as well, uh, for it to not go too much all the way on the zero. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of lower this down a bit more. Maybe let's just do a negative two, kind of skip the whole manual thingy. Anyway, so I guess I'm gonna set it into this. I'm gonna set it into this and I think I'm gonna just have it like that. And now the last thing here is the RN noise. NVIDIA broadcast voice, RTX voice, or best combined in like a lower usage. So I'm just do that. That's uh, gonna be the lib R, or is it lib R and noise? And there you go. I wanna hear myself real quick here. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, mic test, mic test, one, two, three. This is the microphone with, you know, all the effects, all the whatever stuff that you wanna add into it. And this is how it, and this is how it sounds without anything in it. So uh, that was cool. I like how it sounds now. It, you might not like how it sounds now, you know, but you can get the idea from this video on how you can make it sound like exactly how you want it to sound. Now, fiddling around with this settings um, would be way better if you have more time and you're not creating a tutorial video and you're, uh, you know, just focused. And um, yeah, you can do more VSTs. Uh, me personally, I would probably use Loud Max or, or something limiter. You know, just in my case here, I think that's enough. We can check the plugins right here real quick and add another vst let's just see what i can add here i can do a different compressor which i usually use um we can add the re refear and you know you can do the the other voice effects you know whatever you want to do and this you know it just shows how you can probably make your mic sound better i'm gonna do one on the bm800 and the pod mic but with those two it wouldn't be like you know the manual thing what i'm gonna do is i'll have it ready set up and instead explain it so it's not gonna be this long but anyway uh just a quick recap here we do we did add a re-eq a recomp uh let me just show the settings real quick this is the re-eq actually what you can do click on option like embed now it's going to show you every single settings while you're just you know scrolling down if they do have the settings and yeah this one doesn't have any anyway as you can see on the re eq we have it so that we remove the super duper low bass that it's going to be a noise and we increase you know at least on the level where i want it to be you know what let me just lower that a little bit increase I should lower that a little bit, hide that up. There you go. Maybe, uh, you know, you still kind of fiddle around even though you have it set. Same thing that I'm doing with the pod mic, you know, I'm still fiddling around it uh, from time to time. But anyway, uh, we did, you know, we did, we did this bass whole thing right here, remove this very muddy sound. Then we kind of just uh, put it up a little bit in this area and then we kind of place it up here, get more, a little bit of the mid tone that is, you know, the proper mid tones. And then we kind of did a little bit of a high presence here, just a small bit. And we did a quick roll off by the end. And and then on the um, uh, recomp right here, we just, you know, compress our voice. So it kind of squishes it, you know, by a, or at least a 5 to 1 ratio. And uh, that's kind of a broadcast sound, which, you know, I like. And for the replugs here, called the ReJS, we did load an expander, a uh, downward expander by Stillwell. And as you can see, this is the settings that I've got, you know, kind of made it more, you know, expand. And lastly, we did lower the preamp to a negative 2, so it doesn't clip, even though we kind of go too high. And then, you know, we do have the RA noise which i made a video about already you can separate these if you want i'll make uh, i'll add that on the other video uh, but yeah i think that is pretty much it you just save this save everything file exit alt f4 it just works in the background there's no software uh, it's kind of like a, a software that is in your device already in a way as a suggestion i guess you should kind of fiddle around tinker around with whatever settings you can get out of that make it you know sound way better you know i'm using this mic this whole video by the way if you didn't know yet uh it's easy as one two three you can just set it few things though you might want to recheck it from time to time check yourself hear it you know especially if you have a massive installation of a driver or something or in windows uh, windows 
those update you know usually messes a lot of stuff and that's one of them so you just want to re you know you kind of want to reinstall the apo and you know you can just open up the save file now if you want to save it actually give me a moment again let me go back to my desktop i'm so sorry this video is now long i know i should have should have made this as a live stream right but yeah anyway if you want to just save it uh, you can go here you know you're probably going to use a different computer you just want to install equalizer apo as you can see you have all your files in here if you press open now you can press cop or control and then let's say pod mic small mic control c control v that into your usb drive and you are fine yeah my voice is almost gone and i do appreciate you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video and if it did help you in any way shape or form then why don't you like and share this video right also check out my pages and youtube channels and socials like instagram and twitter you can hang out on my discord server as well links on the description below if you do have any questions comment it on the comment section below and uh yeah i'm gonna go end the video here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in my next video have a nice day